Hey guys, welcome back to another MC Concepts video. Today, I'll be showing you how to make custom arrow controls in both Java and Bedrock Edition. As always, all commands will be down below. You can also join my Discord server where you can find the world downloads to all my tutorials and creations. I'll be showing you how to make it in Java Edition first, so let's get into it. Alright, it's actually really straightforward. All you need to do is just copy the text from the description and put it into a repeating always active command block. And then put in whatever particle you want. So I'll link a website with the whole list of particles you can use. All you need to do is find the particle and put it into the command. So if you're interested in how it works, it just executes add an entity that's an arrow. Then if the block under it is air, which means it hasn't hit the ground or another entity yet, it will display a particle at that location. So yeah, it's a pretty simple but cool command. So these are some of my personal favourite particles you can use. I'll be displaying the name of the particle on screen and I won't be talking, so you can decide for yourself on what you want to use. Okay, now moving on to Bedrock Edition. Now, Bedrock Edition is a bit more complicated than Java because it doesn't have the same execute command, but it works pretty much the same. Now, the reason I say pretty much is just because there is a small downfall to using it, which I'll get into later when I explain how it works, but it shouldn't be a big deal. All right, so once again, you wanna go to the description of the video and copy and paste the first three commands into three different repeating always active command blocks. So basically how it works is it executes at entities that are arrows, and detects the block below it if it's air, meaning that they're still flying through the air and haven't touched the ground yet. So if it is, it will tag it with a tag called air. Next, it once again executes at entities that are arrows, except this time it will detect if the block beneath it is grass. So if it is, it will tag it with a tag called ground. Now here's the downfall of this. Since in Bedrock Edition you can't detect if a block is anything but air, you have to write a specific block to detect as the ground. So if it hits something other than grass, it won't detect that it hit the ground, and the particle will keep playing. So you might have to make several command blocks that detect the different blocks. But anyway, this command just removes the air tag from arrows that have the ground tag. Alright, so now that you've all that set up, now for the actual particle troll part. All you need to do is just copy the text from the description, and put it into a repeating always active command block like this. And then put whatever particle you want. I'll put a link to the whole list of particles you can use down below. So all you need to do is just find whatever particle you want and then put it into the command. So yeah. So now I'll just be going through my favourite particles you can use. I'll also display the particle name on screen and I won't be talking so you can pick out whatever one you want to use. Or once again you can go to the website with the whole list so you can test out whatever particle you want to use. So yeah guys, that's it. I hope you liked this video. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below, and if you want, you can join my Discord server with all the world downloads to my tutorials and creations. But yeah, see you in the next one.